I am saying that the brain, uh, if it were smaller than what it is, it would not have uh, permitted humans to develop science and technology which today threatens existence. If it were, on the other hand, larger than what it is, it might have understood the problem, even solve it. The brain is just not the right size, not small enough, not large enough for survival. The brain, of course, predisposes people to uh, a number of diseases, the size it is. Uh, you don't find depression in the rat. No rat commits suicide. Uh, if you have a complex organ, then things can go wrong. And um, neither schizophrenia do you find in rats, mice, monkeys. Uh, in monkeys you can get depression if you separate the infant from the mother in both, uh, the mother and the infant. But uh, you do need a fairly large sized brain, uh, complexity that is, uh, before you can get some of uh, these uh, problems. Uh, we can't do anything about that, of course, uh, though there's medicines now that are of help to people with uh, psychiatric conditions. Dementia uh, was mentioned even in ancient times, and um, uh, a, a Roman doctor uh, said that uh, uh, age robs us of everything, including our mind. Uh, dementia, of course, is not a normal part of aging. Uh, it is a disease. Uh, you can have uh, reasonably normal cognitive functioning uh, in the senum, uh, but the probability of uh, contracting dementia increases with age, and uh, after the age of 55, uh, it is 50% of the people who are dementing. The challenges in dealing with uh, degenerative disorders uh, is, well, to the scientists, that is, is to find a way of arresting or slowing down the progress of the disease. Uh, so far, uh, it hasn't been uh, possible, or uh, if anything, very marginally so. Uh, uh, though there are predisposing factors, uh, that is, uh, scientists have uh, noticed that uh, uh, there are things that you can do that will delay the onset of uh, Alzheimer's, of the dementias, uh, things such as exercise or if you smoke, to stop smoking. Uh, they, these are factors that uh, contribute and you can do something about them. But uh, from the medicine point of view, there's hardly anything, probably, probably nothing that does uh, anything of any duration. That is, if you manage to postpone by a couple of months the advent of uh, um, Alzheimer's, I don't know if even that is possible. The diagnosis is, uh, the, the diagnosis of disease has improved, has improved in recent years. That's actually uh, good progress, so that uh, at least you know. Uh, what the condition is, uh, and um, if it's psychiatric conditions, then you don't confuse uh, one for the other and give the wrong medication to the individual. So there has been significant progress in science. Uh, for Alzheimer's disease and other dementias, uh, it would be for probably not possible to reverse the condition, but it might be possible to retard its progression uh, and um, uh, assure some quality of life in the individual for a little bit longer. Uh, I think you have uh, captured uh, a good combination of uh, uh, genetics uh, and degeneration and, um, uh, and uh, degenerative diseases. Uh, and uh, uh, that's a uh, very active field, so I think you picked the right field. Uh, you pick the right place to have it. The, the Corfu is beautiful. Uh, the old city is amazingly nice. It's pedestrianized. Uh, you feel that you're uh, walking in paradise.